In our group, it's very important for us that the results and the research that we're generating are of benefit to society. And therefore, also in extension of this, we have a strong focus on training candidates which are capable of solving these complex problems in our group and therefore can also be the biotechnologists of the future. Our strategies are to examine cells at the systems level, so this being either genes or proteins, and use this information to understand and in some cases engineer these organisms. Some of the most fascinating things we're seeing in our research at the moment is what we can learn from comparing the genomes of organisms that we know already to the genomes of unknown organisms. For instance, we've been interested in protein synthesis for a while and we've seen in some of our research that if we compare the genomes of the well-studied mouse to the genomes of hamster cells which are used for protein production, we can identify complex factors and interaction between the production of the protein and the metabolism of the host cell. We've also been interested in using new and known genomes to identify genes for specific products that we're interested in. One thing that we've done is that we can, by the help of our collaborators, identify very interesting compounds. This could be an antibiotic and then look at in which organisms we know that this compound is found. What we can do is that we afterwards sequence the genomes of these organisms, compare those genomes and you can use that to pinpoint which genes are actually used for making that an antibiotic, thus creating potentially a new product. The research in our group has been in rapid development over these last few years. Things that we only had as ideas and hypotheses a couple of years ago, we're actually now publishing and patenting these things and disseminating these to the public. Where I hope and think we can be in just a few number of years is that we will be able to provide critical insights at the systems level about cells that are very interesting both for basic research purposes but also in industrial biotechnology.